Hyundai is hoping to inject new life into the small sedan segment with this. It's called the Hyundai i30 sedan N-Line and if the location and angular styling doesn't give it away, it's going for a sporty theme. Let's check it out. Twenty twenty one is shaping as a watershed year for Hyundai's sporty N division. An updated I thirty N, as well as the arrival of the I twenty N, Kona N, and I thirty sedan N. But before that, we have this. The I thirty sedan N line is a warmed over version of Hyundai's small passenger car and joins an existing N line version of Hyundai's I thirty hatchback. The three-model N-Line sedan structure starts at $30,290 before on-road costs, topping out at $37,290 for the flagship N-Line Premium driven here. The N-Line $6,000 Premium over the regular I-30 sedan brings a more powerful engine, a new rear suspension configuration and significantly more standard equipment. 18-inch alloy wheels, side skirts, a redesigned front bumper with larger air dams and a new rear end with a mild diffuser and twin exhaust outlets. It's certainly not your Nana's runabout and it's not a carbon copy of the i30 hatch either. It runs on its own platform and it has sport suspension with a multi-link rear. Inside the N-Line range gets dual zone climate control and contrasting elements on the seats and dashboard. While the Deera N-Line Premium driven here gets a larger 10.25 inch display screen, sunroof, 10-way adjustable heated and ventilated front seats and a heated steering wheel, along with plenty of racy N-Line cues. The interior is well presented given the price point and it feels more contemporary and spacious than the equivalent hatch. Our main gripes extend to the mildly high set driver's seat in the N-Line Premium and the fact entry cars get wireless Apple CarPlay while the premium makes do with a corded system. Hardly deal breakers. That same sporty theme differentiates the driving experience as well. From the moment you sit in the Hyundai i30 sedan N-Line, it feels inherently sporty from the layout and the styling of the interior to the weighting of the steering and controls. It's a really nice balance between everyday comfort with a fair handful of sportiness as well. On the road, you'll notice a little bit of firmness to the ride on 18 inch wheels, a bit of road noise entering the cabin, and as I said before, meaningful weighting to the steering and controls, but it does a quite an admirable job in everyday scenarios. A nice sporty bent on what is otherwise a fairly so-so segment. Key to the i30 sedan N-Line sporty attributes is its engine. A 1.6 litre turbo petrol four cylinder, good for 150 kilowatts and 265 newton meters. It drives the front wheels only via a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Now, although it does have identical outputs to the i30 hatch, this is in fact a new generation of smart stream engine. I've got to say the power spread is quite linear. There's a lot of torque available down low, which is great. And the eight speed automatic works well as well. There's a little bit of hesitation and tardiness upon taking off, typical symptom of a dual clutch automatic transmission. But beyond that point, the shifts are well-timed and seamless. Now once up and moving, the engine noise and harmonics aren't exactly spine tingling, but the i30 sedan inline does make quite decent progress. Using its different platform, the i30 sedan measures 300 millimetres longer than the equivalent i30 hatch, a trait that it pays for during changes in direction. That said, the sedan still tips the scales at just under 1,400 kilograms. Now, while the N-Line does feel inherently front drive, that's not to say that it's boring or one-dimensional in any way. When pushed, it still feels quite confident and the small lateral movements that it does make are quite well metered and controllable. And despite all that curb weight, it controls its mass quite well through the corners and provides adequate grip on the Goodyear tyres. If you want something different from your run-of-the-mill small sedan, well, this certainly does that. 
it's actually quite a bit of fun. The additional wheelbase and length over the I-30 hatch liberates plenty of second row space, which is accessed via air vents, but not by power points. A 474 litre boot with a space saver spare tyre is another boon, even if the boot arms impinge on load space. The i30 sedan N-Line cements its place with a five-year warranty and $299 annual servicing based on 12-month, 10,000 kilometre intervals. The Hyundai i30 sedan N-Line brings a welcome dose of sportiness to the small sedan segment. It's fun, it doesn't mind being punted around on circuit, and it just sets itself apart visually as well. The truth is, if you want a fully fledged performance sedan, then it's probably worth waiting for the upcoming Hyundai i30 sedan N. But in the meantime, this isn't a bad way to warm things up.